Hello, fourth graders, and happy Friday. Today is our last instructional day of the year, and I am just so happy that you guys have made it through this tough time, through this challenging remote learning experience. You guys have stuck it out, and we are down to our last instructional video. So I am going to give you guys a couple of announcements before I get started with my writing lesson. Today, writing will be the only um, video that you will get, so there will not be math or reading today, but you will need to complete your math post-test by 5 o'clock today. Um, all grades are also final today at 5 o'clock, so you guys can be working on those things. Um, this lesson is important. But there will not be a new no red ink assignment just because um, I wouldn't have enough time like a week for you to complete it. So um, this lesson is just information only. You will need a pen and paper to take notes and this is going to make you a better writer. So I hope you will stick with me until the end of the video. But um, otherwise today is just going to be a makeup day as far as assignments um, and then please tune in with us next week we are having fun every day so there will be like a different activity every day and you will be able to see all four of the fourth grade teachers together on zoom so we're going to go ahead and get started today with our writing lesson we are going to be learning about transitional words and phrases so most of the time um my lessons have been grammar related just because it's easier to see if you guys are understanding grammar or not. But today I want to give us a lesson on that would help with our writing. So transitional words and phrases are going to be used in your writing. You can use them with narratives or expositories or really any type of writing um, that you're doing. And they are used to help the author <laughs> transitional words are used to help the author to move smoothly from one idea to the next so um, I'm gonna just gonna give you a couple of examples some of these transitional words are going to be used for different purposes so some of them will link ideas to other ideas or things that are similar or they will be used to introduce an example Transitional phrases can also be used to express alternative or contrasting views. And lastly, they can be used to show cause and effect. They can also be used to show um, chronological order. So you can say like first, then next, last, or in conclusion to show that you're at the end of a conversation or the end of an argument. So let's look deeper into these things. I do want you to write these down. So your label today should say transitional words and phrases. And then I want you to put a little bullet point that says phrases to show an example. So this is like if I was writing a story about mm, maybe being a leader, right? I would want to talk about like a leader is someone who is able to you know, be strong in their ideas. They're able to stand before a crowd and show passion when they speak. They're very bold and confident. And then I would want to give an example. So I can use these phrases. For example, Miss Johnson is a leader every day when she teaches our class. Or I remember a time that Kayla was the line leader and she led our um, line to the lunchroom. Or an illustration of this is, and then you would say an illustration of a time where someone showed leadership. Or you can use, for instance, here's an example. I love to eat sweets. I remember a time I ate half a chocolate pie. Okay, so these words, um, transitional phrases, are just used to give more example, but they just are very, a very smooth way to, um, to transition from one idea to another one. 
Another sweet is what I like. Anything sweet is what I like. For example, a Krispy Kreme donut is the perfect snack for me. So here are some examples. We have two sentences here in yellow. I love the beach. Thank, we played for hours making sandcastles. It's good to exercise every day. Blank, you can go on a bike ride or a walk. So here you can use these transition words to figure out which one fills in the blank best. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can get it correct. <gasps> Were you right? Let's look at some more transitional words. Consequently, due to this, therefore, as a result, so, then. These are all phrases that show cause and effect. Most of the time when you see transitional phrases in writing, they are to show cause and effect. As a result of the snowstorm, school will be called off today. So this is just a way that you can use transitional phrases to show because this happened, this other thing happened. So we are very good at identifying cause and effect when we're reading, but now we have to practice how to create the idea of cause and effect when we're writing. And using transitional phrases is a very good way to do that. It was very cold in the classroom, so we turned on the heater. So this is just like saying, because it was very cold, we turned on the heater, but it's just a smoother way to connect those ideas. I do want you to write these cause and effect transition words down. So you need a new bullet point, phrases to show cause and effect, and then go ahead and list these six um, transitional phrases. Okay, now we'll do the practice. We have, for instance, consequently, and therefore. We'll have to figure out which one belongs in which sentence. Go ahead and pause the video. See if you can get it correct. Timmy got detention again. Consequently, he will not be playing video games for a week. Some people are so lucky. For instance, I have a friend who won the lottery twice. Jane studied for weeks. Therefore, she aced her exam. Did you get him right? I think this is going to be our last one for today. These are transitional phrases to express additional ideas. So this is like you've given all these examples, maybe closer to the end um, of your paper, or maybe if you want to give an example and then give another one, um, then you would use these transitional phrases to express additional ideas. So you can use in addition to, similarly, Likewise, plus, not only that, but, and also. Not only is running healthy, I'm, no, I'm sorry. Not only is running a healthy way to exercise, but cycling is also a great way to burn some calories. Also, cycling is a great way to get some exercise. Okay, now it's time to practice. We have three sentences again and three transitional words. Go ahead and read each sentence and then figure out which transitional word is best in each sentence. This question is going to be your pop question for today. So I do not, you don't have to write 
all of the sentences down for your pop question. Just write the transition of phrases in order that they should go in these sentences. So pause the video. And I'm not going to give you the answer for this one because I want you to tell me what's the proper way. Send me a picture on Class Dojo. Okay, looks like we have one last type to learn. However, but, despite this, nevertheless, yet, still. These are my very favorite transition words. And you know why? Because they're all like argumentative. So these are the transitional words that express alternate ideas. So these are like the words that show contrast. I have watered my garden every day for the past two weeks. Nevertheless, it's still burning up. So these are like when you have two ideas that are opposite or contrasting, you can use one of these uh, transitional phrases to show their difference. I have watered my garden every day for the past two weeks. In spite of this, it is still burning up. And here's the practice. Can you independently identify which transition word goes with which sentence? Go ahead and pause the video. Were you right? <laughs> I hope you were. If not, reach out to me and we can go more over transitional words and phrases. Now let's review. These things are important. And if you have not written them down, be sure that you write them down um, in your notes so that you'll have them to become a better writer. Transitional words and phrases. Help authors move smoothly from one idea to the next. So this is the purpose. Why are these important? Is to create that smooth flow in your writing. Some transitional phrases link similar ideas or introduce an example. Others link contrasting ideas or show cause and effect. Thank you guys so much for sticking it out until the end of remote learning. You guys are super, super awesome. I can't wait to play with you and have fun with you um, next week. So please tune in to Class Dojo so that you know um, the links and logins for Zoom. Um, Ms. Jackson, Ms. Vance, Mr. Harris and I, we love you all. We hope that you guys are staying home and staying safe. And we can't wait to see you next week. If you have any questions, reach out to us on Class Dojo. Until then, Johnson out.